Today on Logan Lee's Adventures, my friend So We and Andre takes us to the best Korean food places all around Itaewon. And then also, we explore a lot of cool musty museums in Seoul. We're exploring Donyumon Museum Village. Village Museum, which is basically a real time warp back into what 80s Korea looked like. So, a lot of these buildings, and not this one, this one is a little bit older, but a lot of these buildings recreate a village of what it was like back in the 1980s in Korea. So, my friend So Wee, who grew up in the 80s in her childhood she said that when she visited here it actually looked exactly like what her hometown was like back then so that's pretty cool i can't wait to see what it's all about here if there's one museum out of Seoul that you should visit, make it this museum. Never mind that it's free, but it's so interactive and there's so many things to roam around and to see. And the village consists of Hanok, which are traditional Korean homes and buildings. Also here showcase historical eras of Seoul architecture. You can see architecture styles from the 1900s all the way up to the 1980s, which is the most predominant display of the museum as we wander around and also it's really cool because you think that this is like Disneyland that they built all of this up from nothing just to showcase this but no it is actually through urban regeneration efforts that the Donyumian Museum Village preserved 40 out of the 63 houses in Seimunan which was an old neighborhood district so what you see here are actual architecture from Korea's modern history era and the Joseon dynasty existing side by side in this newly develop cultural space for us to explore and to really learn and tap into the history of this beautiful country. Exploring here is just such a cool introspection of what Seoul was like before basically as it grew and as it went through the industrial revolution that really changed the whole country. Here we can pop into this old school movie theater that they recreated so you can see all these old seatings, posters, and what Korean cinema, which is a huge part of our global pop culture, but this was what Korean cinema was like before it made such a huge impact on the world stage. So I'm just going to go up into the movie theater section here. Look at this. It's so sick. All these seats, you can see this cartoon that aired back then. It's dubbed in Korean or is created in Korean but instead of a Western style. I'm not sure. I've never heard of this or seen this cartoon before, but the seats are really old school. I wish there's movie theaters like this around these days now. Uh, I guess in some countries there are, but not where I'm from because I really like the atmosphere of this. It's too cool. You can see what the popcorn was like or the meals was like for the movie theaters back then. Just back then they were obsessed with coffee as they are now too in Korea. This old cashier desk and all the snacks design laid out. What the? It's awesome to just be able to be here and explore all this. Uh, this is the ticket office for the movie theater and you can see all the vintage movie theater posters <laughs>
but seriously from humble beginnings like this and only in a few decades to become one of the world's biggest movie producers and film industries and tv series like that's an impressive feat Cool to explore these rooms and you can see what basically it looked like back then. Wow, this old calendar, this old blazer, this funky type shirt. I can definitely see people back from the 60s, 70s donning this. Okay, but I would love this desk though. It's beautiful. With the books and everything. Look at this calendar. This old school house is super cool, but there's still so many more open house spots that we can go into. So we're going to continue exploring. I think already this is probably one of my favorite spots of Seoul. It just feels like such a hidden gem. Not many people talk about this open air museum because, you know, places like Mount Namasan or DDP is just super awesome to explore and gets all the attention well deserved but then you have this whole area this is an old style photo studio so as you can see a lot of people get their wedding shoots here back then in this type of studios like set up here some people still do take their photos here because this is all still taken here so you can still rent different outfits or wedding dresses and have an actual photo shoot here Look at your room. See what he's playing. Oh, Santoki. These are the different snacks you can win. I'm playing games. Look how cool this is! Oh my gosh, so aesthetic. And then there's like different games. So as you can guess, this is like an arcade from back then. the evolutions of the comic from 1950s next decade the 1960s 1970s 1980s comic it's still 1980s in 1990 and how the art has evolved <gasps> oh this is awesome look now you can actually read and check out comics from back then too in this little lounge. Okay, let's pick up a comic from back in the 50s. Ooh, they were thick. <gasps> Yu-Gi-Oh! Oh my god, I can't believe they have Yu-Gi-Oh! Okay, this is, I guess, from the 90s. Look at that. This is a flashback to my childhood. 
Fancy a haircut, anybody? Well, come on in to this old school barber shop. It still looks like this. I remember when we went to some places, some smaller towns in Jeju Island back when we first went on our trip to South Korea. But it's really cool to see this here in the village and how it's set up. And you can see it like this little living area in the back, the old school phone booth, the bicycles that we still have in the Netherlands looking exactly like that. And let's look a little closer at the hangout area back here of the barber shop. So awesome to see what even the chairs for barber shops look like back there. And this is like an old world barber shop setup. Oh, what's happening here? That looks like my fraternity initiation going on. So we're at the old school type of restaurant at the village and it is so cool here. Look at the art design on the walls. <laughs> and then they have all these classic Korean dishes that we can order. We're gonna order some, like the memories lunchbox, which is really cute because that's like the old school lunchbox that people had when they went to school. Also, it's just like really like the decor around the space here. For this cool vintage tablecloth. They have it everywhere. Like this is vintage tablecloth design too. This is the Memories Lunchbox, y'all, and it's so delicious. There's kimbap, there's all these different trees, rice, fried egg. Mmm, I am still dreaming of this meal to this day. So this coffee looking like drink or concoction is called misu. And misu is from this Korean grain called misu garu. And it's used for quenching thirst on a hot summer day. Even though it's not summer, it is quite warm autumn day, so this would do too. Mm, it tastes like almost like Milo, Milo, but it's actually a seven to ten different grains crushed up into this grain powder to make me soup. Right next door to the museum village is this beautiful park. I mean, I don't know where this leads, but I'm really enjoying the autumn foliage here and just wandering through it. It's so beautiful. There's just, so just constantly just keeps pushing my mind of what the city is and what it holds, truly. Heart turns out to lead into Yung Hu Yung Palace, which is one of the five palaces during the Chosen Dynasty that was built. So that is pretty cool, just wandering around, and then we ended up in here. And it, cool enough, like there's hardly anybody here. I mean, I know it's not like one of the main palaces, but it's still a very beautiful area to explore. And I think that's the crazy thing to me about Seoul is that for a city of 10 million people in the center, you can still experience some parts of the center just really to yourself and have it to yourself. I love that. Wow, this is so epic, y'all. So we decided to, from the palace, go into Seoul City Museum, which is basically a free museum about 
the history and the city that we're in, the capital of South Korea. But this cool room, look at this. It's, first of all, you get surrounded by this three, like this interactive screen of multimedia of just autumn leaves falling because it's autumn right now. But then you also can walk above the city as on this clear bridge and then you can see the cityscape of Seoul from the river to everything that we explore like Mount Namasan right there this is so sick and all the little different buildings light up as well oh, it seems like a film is about to start I'm gonna head to the upper level to catch this Whoa, how cool is this? Okay, I hope you can see it well enough on my phone's camera but all the, like the little mini sculpture, the mini version of the cityscape down below is all lit up in lights. It's a full-on kind of light show happening and it's running throughout the whole city of Seoul. That's what it's designed as and is showing you as it takes you through the different neighborhoods like right now is Gangnam as you can see that's the neighborhood by the and then there's the by the water by the river oh my goodness and the music here is just a full immersion into the city and this is just the beginning ooh seasons of soul okay ooh that's like spring with the cherry blossoms it's so cool okay so you can see how they're kind of like building out the city they're explaining how the city is being like you know transformed throughout the seasons and now i think we're changing from spring to summer i think this is summer right now the music mix is so epic like they're filming at ddp the design plaza and this drone is like flying through the design plaza yo you okay just add this to your museum so museum of history when you are in town it's free i mean why not come and explore this like jam whoa now i'm walking through the rest of the museum and this part of the museum is seeing how seoul was back then it's really cool so this is what joseon dynasty or joseon the city which was seoul back then looked like not modern all the historical buildings intact and then there's different scenes of life here this is like an artist rendition of what art was like this is a boat the ships that they use from the peninsula of course and then a map of the world from what it looked like back then i love maps so much and it's so cool to see a korean or an asian perspective from a map because growing up in the west i'm always used to seeing western maps in this room you can walk long side by side between what Seoul looked like back then from all the traditional houses to the colonial architecture and see how the streets was like. Ooh, this is a railway ticket for the train station. You can interact with it too. So Pretty cool to walk through the booming of the era of Seoul where people started to move into high rises and start living in skyscrapers. So here is what a kitchen looked like back then. I was about to say traditional kitchen, but I don't know how traditional this is if it's from only a few decades ago. Very cool to look at. And then here is another room. You come this way to the hallway with me to the living room and the balcony
so awesome to explore the back alley of this restaurant and know what Seoul was like. You know, these little alleys is where a lot of people's lives happen too. It was awesome doing museums and the palace this morning, but now we're going to be meeting up with my friend Andre and Soe, the Korean locals that I love for more Korean experiences. This is after our traditional Korean baths and saunas, so make sure to check that vlog out. It's in a separate vlog because I go into deep dive all about it, but now we're going to get dinner. So our friends took us to this mom and pop shop for our fried chicken, for Korean fried chicken. You can see it's just right there in the window. This is apparently their favorite and best place in all of Seoul. So I'll take their word for it. It's also been featured on Netflix Street Eat Korea Seoul episode. Uh, street Food Seoul episode. So, I mean it must be worth it, but also look how Look how hole in the wall it is, it's pretty cool. That's that's the lady of the house right there. And her husband is the one who's usually like in the kitchen while here. Just frying it up. Alright, I am so hungry. Let's eat. Samina! Okay, I do have to warn you, it's, except, it's, it's crazy it's hot. hot. It's like the surface of the sun. Okay, uh, I will... Take it easy. Yeah. And check out how, how crispy it is. Mm. Oh my god. Look at the steam. It's crispy. This is like ASMR. Yeah. Like how nice and crispy it is. Mm. This piece is going to be absurd. Look at this. <laughs> It's a, literally like what is it, onomatopoeia? Yeah. Of like, you know, the tingling sound. You know, tan, like a Korean. I sound like a crazy artist here, right? <laughs> <laughs> And of course, because two plates full of fried Korean chicken is just not enough for us for we had to hop to the next place for our continuous dinner party and this is still in Itaewon. Different brand of soju. Yeah, that's my favorite brand. Oh. This is not even like the green bottle. How did they do that? Oh, that's the green bottle. Oh, yeah, this is my favorite. Brand. I've never seen this brand. Really? You only see the green ones. Ah, okay. Thank you. Thank you. Please so speak so good. Yeah, well, wow. look. Oh, it's a joy. I try. Yeah, I try. You know, for the Yeah, this place has like the whole vintage vibe going on. We have a theme today. It was like very this, like vintage 60s, 70s yes. Korea from the folk from the museum that we were at. All right. Oh, yeah. we're at our next place called Cha Song Dang in Taiwan for final bites of the night. <laughs> Right into it. Bring noodles, 
Oh, so good. I'm surprised that you took out your fork uh, the other day uh, for, for noodles. I had to. Yeah. The shit you like. Really? Yeah. Uh, you can choose the other three different levels. The baby levels? Yeah, you can eat this one too. Yeah. Oh, my. Oh, my. Oh, my. Oh, my. <laughs> I just saw <laughs> Like you don't actually get it. These noodles are the best. The meat here. So good. Wait, what's this? This is uh, what is it? Joy meal. Joy meal. Joy meal. He's getting you a new one. He's getting you a new one. Nah, 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 I can't. Oh, that's true. They have more. Oh, he's done it. He's so quick. That's why I said like he's getting you a new one. He's we got that one. Yep. I'm gonna highlight it. That was our lovely dinner. It was so delicious. I friggin' love this place. I love my friends. I'm gonna miss them so much and I can't wait to see them next time when I come visit Seoul again because I'm already like, I need to come back. I need to come back. But now me and Yoroon are heading off for our next trip. And so we have to leave South Korea's capital city, which is uh, really hard because we both really loved our time here so much our hearts are just so filled with joy and our stomachs are so filled with happiness too that yeah we just can't wait to come back because there's just so much more to see and do that we still want to do in seoul anyways for now we went to incheon airport and now we're at the asiana lounge in incheon airport let's check this lounge out before we fly out it's a pretty swanky business lounge as you can see i really like the music Mood lighting here. There's lots of privacy, a lot of different cubicles. You can see how spacious it is here. Gosh, I really don't want to say bye to Seoul, but then you can see this bar. They also serve soju for your one last mm, before you leave Seoul. And then there's this huge, like, relaxed atmosphere. The buffet is back there, which we're making our way to, which I cannot wait to eat uh you know eat more because yeah this is the last last bite in seoul and i'm gonna make the most of it and look at all these delicious dishes and now i'm like oh gosh how am i gonna fit all this in and then also eat on our business class flight because there's gonna be amazing servings there too with the food here and this lounge is already looking really good too uh, and look at all this ramen noodles this is high quality ramen noodles too like i i grew up with this and look at this shelf hat <laughs> live from Asiana Lounge in Incheon Airport in Seoul, South Korea. So I want to show you y'all the bathroom situation here. So this is all available upon request. You just get like a little booking, you save it, and then they, when it's your turn, they'll come and get you. And then basically you can come and use a shower, which I'm gonna do right before my flight leaving Seoul, which is really sad because I had such a great time here. But let's check out the washroom situation here because it is beautifully designed so far. This, love these toilets, love the rain shower head. Ooh. I always like to see what type of product they have as well. Okay, nice. I'm gonna brush my teeth before our flight tonight. Cool. 
And this is the card that gives you access into this bathroom. All right, let's have a shower. Business class thin air, round two. Let our next adventure begin. I'm super excited to fly again with Finnair Business Class because everything is just so always Scandinavian sleek with their design here. And the cabin is it's gonna be a full flight today. But I'm really stoked to check out their menu. Let's see what's for dinner on flight. into our flight here and then we have left Seoul and you can see this is Point Hope so this is between the US and where Alaska is to Russia so we've flown through as you can see in the corner on the bottom right corner from South Korea we went all around now usually the quickest route to go back to Europe is over Russia of course but we can't fly over Russia's airspace right now because y'all know about all the issues that's happening in the world but we can fly directly around it and so that is what this is right now oh and also my meal has arrived the dinner has arrived and looks so good look at this yumminess that's the blueberry juice that Finair is known for but also i got kimchi and this korean hot pepper paste which is awesome i love it i'm just putting on this so i don't spill over my white shirt but okay so check this out flying from korea this is a little bit more into our flight back to europe back to helsinki and going through the arctic ocean we are in the arctic this is the arctic circle look that's where greenland is right there and that's our plane it is so friggin like out of this world of Svalbard I cannot believe where we are right now this is the most northern point I've ever been in my life and you actually get a little certificate from Finnair to celebrate this with along with some movement stickers which I love and yeah look this is where we started out from this is how far we flew all the way from the Pacific up into the Arctic Ocean now this is the Arctic Circle to get all the way around back to Finland. Huh, what a flight this has been. I can't stop checking out this map. As you can see, usually I'm watching movies, but I'm not right now. But anyways, thank you for coming to Seoul, to the Arctic Circle, and then back with me. If you enjoy this vlog as much as I did, please give this vlog a like. Leave me a comment below. What do you think of this flight? And then hit subscribe if you haven't already. I'm going to enjoy my breakfast now because I went to sleep and I woke up to this delicious breakfast. There's also going to be more adventures coming your way. This is not the stop of our trips yet. Check out the next vlog. Love you, Logie Bears.